Today we are talking about the best growth stocks to buy that analysts love. In the realm of high-end semiconductor manufacturing, Nvidia has emerged as one of the most phenomenal growth narratives in the stock market over the past 15 years. Nvidia's remarkable growth statistics have consistently impressed Wall Street, especially considering the company's substantial size. In the fiscal first quarter, Nvidia's revenue surged by 262% year over year, while its net income soared by 628%. Analyst Angelo Zeno is increasingly confident about Nvidia's long-term demand for data center chips, and he anticipates that the demand for artificial intelligence chips will continue to surpass supply until at least the middle of 2025. The research firm CFRA maintains a buy rating and a price target of $1,160 for Nvidia stock, which closed at $1,148.25 on May 29th. Next, we turn to one of the world's largest online search and advertising conglomerates. Alphabet, the parent company of Google and YouTube, reported 15% revenue growth in the first quarter, which included a notable 28% increase in Google Cloud revenue. Analyst Angelo Zeno projects that Alphabet will achieve 13% revenue growth in 2024 and 11% annual growth in 2025. Zeno highlights Alphabet's attractive valuation, numerous artificial intelligence technology opportunities, and substantial free cash flow potential. CFRA has issued a buy rating and a price target of $190 for Alphabet stock, which closed at $175.90 on May 29th. Now let's talk about the world of social media. Meta Platforms, a dominant force in social media and online advertising, owns Facebook, Instagram, and other platforms. Meta has regained its growth momentum, posting an impressive 27% revenue growth in the first quarter. Analyst Angelo Zeno anticipates that Meta will sustain earnings per share growth, exceeding 10%, and generate at least $40 billion in free cash flow in 2024 and $45 billion in 2025. He estimates that Meta's revenue will grow by 18% in 2024 and between 12 and 13% in 2025 as digital advertising expenditures increase. CFRA has a buy rating and a price target of $540 for Meta stock, which closed at $474.36 on May 29th. Over in the banking sector, J.P. Morgan Chase stands as one of the world's largest financial services companies, with approximately $3.7 trillion in assets. In 2023, J.P. Morgan acquired First Republic Bank after it failed during the regional banking crisis. Over the past five quarters, J.P. Morgan has consistently reported double-digit revenue growth. Analyst Kenneth Leon notes that J.P. Morgan is gaining a market share from its competitors and forecasts 12% revenue growth for the bank in 2000. 2024 as the investment banking industry rebounds. CFRA has a buy rating and a price target of $215 for JP Morgan Chase stock, which closed at $198.11 on May 29th. Meanwhile, Tesla, the leading United States electric vehicle manufacturer, faced a challenging start to the year with its revenue declining by 9% year over year in the first quarter. This included a 13% drop in automotive segment revenue. Analyst Gary Garrett Nelson believes Tesla will rebound from its slow start to 2024 and achieve 6% revenue growth this year. He projects that Tesla's new factories in Texas and Germany, along with the Cybertruck deliveries and the potential launch of its next generation platform, will drive a significant acceleration in revenue growth to 21% in 2025. Nelson also estimates over 2 million Cybertruck reservations. CFRA maintains a buy rating and a price target of $210 for Tesla stock which closed at $176.19. Next, in the payments industry, MasterCard remains a global leader in credit card and payment solutions. In the first quarter, MasterCard reported 11% revenue growth, 28% net income growth, and 10% growth in gross dollar volume. Analyst Alexander Yoakum emphasizes that MasterCard's significant exposure to high-growth international markets will enable it to outpace its more United States-focused peers. Yoakum expects that payment volume growth will continue to exceed consumer spending growth as the the global economy completes its transition from cash payments to digital payments. 
he projects 13% annual revenue growth for MasterCard in 2024 and 2025. CFRA has a buy rating and a price target of $540 for MasterCard stock, which closed at $442.47 on May 29th. Now let's shift to the microprocessor and graphics semiconductor sector. Advanced Micro Devices has seen its shares rise by about 4,000% over the past decade. In the first quarter, AMD reported 2% revenue growth and an astonishing 188% net income growth. Analyst Angelo Zeno highlights the introduction of AMD's processor and strong graphics processing unit sales as indicators of further upside potential for the stock. CFRA has a buy rating and a price target of $200 for AMD stock, which closed at $165.14 on May 29th. Up next, we have Intuit, a provider of accounting and management, tax preparation, and personal finance software, which reported 12% revenue growth, 14% net income growth, and 18% revenue growth in its small business and self-employed group in the fiscal third quarter. Analyst Janice Quek praises Intuit's management for executing well in a challenge challenging environment and identifies several growth drivers that can help the company maintain double-digit revenue growth. Quek also mentions that Intuit is in the early stages of leveraging generative artificial intelligence technology. She projects 11.8% revenue growth for Intuit in 2024. CFRA has a buy rating and a price target of $715 for Intuit stock, which closed at $598.28 on May 29th. Lastly, we have ExxonMobil, which is one of the largest United States oil companies, which has benefited from favorable energy market conditions in recent years, making it one of the highest growth companies in the market. Despite a 3.5% year-over-year drop in revenue in the first quarter, Exxon's revenue for 2023 was still up by approximately 90% on a three-year basis. Analyst Stuart Glickman asserts that Exxon will continue to gain from the development of its Guyana and Permian Basin properties following its acquisition of Pioneer Natural Resources. CFRA has a buy rating and a price target of $130 for Exxon Mobil stock, which closed at $113.63 on May 29th. In summary, the financial performance and growth prospects of these industry giants highlight their impressive trajectories and future potential. With analysts providing optimistic projections, projections, and maintaining strong buy ratings, these companies are poised to continue shaping their respective markets and driving shareholder value in the coming years. With that being said, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video.